Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about acute gastritis. The objective. First, I will review about the stomach anatomy, and then definition, cause, sign and symptom, complication, diagnosis, treatment and prevention, and the last is prognosis. So this is the normal anatomy. If we in the fibroscope, we can see the normal lining of the mucosal in the lumen of the stomach look like the curvy linear. Appearance of Rita. So the normal wall of the stomach is composed of mucosal layer, some mucos, mucosa, muscularis externa, and cirrhosis. And Stomach, it is the part of the CI tract that connect with the ossophile in the upper portion of the stomach. And then where we can call the cardia. After cardia, we call the fondus. After fondus, we call body of stomach. And after that, in the body has two curvature. So one we call laser curvature and the large one is called great curvature. After the body, we, we can see the hilarus or antrum and which were connected with the part of small bowel we call duodenum. So what is acute gastritis? Acute gastritis refers to a sudden onset of inflammation of the Stomach lining, also known as gastric, gastric, as known as the gastric mucosa. So gastritis is the inflame of the mucosa in the uh, of the stomach layer. It, it usually has some risk factor for the acute gastritis. Like the first one, we usually meet with a story of using medication, something like NSAID. And sometimes because a patient has or Receive it the kilobacteria pyloris. Acute stress also the factor is for the acute gastritis. It usually like after major surgery, trauma, or severe burn or severe illness. Dietary factor also can cause the actual gastritis, like increased intake of alcohol and caffeine, caffeine and exposure to cigarette smoke, 
and morally the ingestion of has chemical can lead to severe mucosal damage due to a direct gastric injury. Sign and symptom, like showing in the image. So if the patient has mild symptom, can show with like loss of app appetite, upper abdominal discomfort, bleed, belching, nausea, and vomiting. In more severe case, patient can complain with hematemesis, over meeting blood as well as melanin. Which is smelly black stool. So overall, a patient with acute gastritis is always complain of the loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, abdominal clothing, abdominal pain, indigestion, burning feeling. Complication of gastritis. If it become to chronic status, patient will be become the anemic. because of loss of blood sarcoma related to microhemorrhage. Patient can become with penises anemia where insufficient of vitamin B to create high serum blood cell related to autoimmune gastritis. Has none or untreatment H. pylori, so the in or autoimmune gastritis in the future, this condition can become a cancer of stomach. If acute gastritis leading to rupture, so the condition will be developed into peritonitis. So how to diagnose gastritis? Yes, it usually depends on the story, sign and symptom, and physical examination. If we concern patient has or carry H. pylori, we can ask for breathing test or blood test for antibody and stool exam for H. pylori and blood in stool. We can ask for endos upper endoscopy or upper GI examination. So, this is the upper GI study on the upper image. So, the normal surface pattern of stomach, the gastric area are the regular wind shape, no defect area. But, the below image, so, superficial gastritis, the area are slightly irregular in shapes and some defect area are seen. How to treat gastritis? We see the main cause or the risk for acute gastritis. So the treatment is, of course, depend on the cause.
But some medication we can use known as histamine blocker like semitidine, famotidine, and nisatidine. Acid blocking and wound healing medication known as omeprazole, rabeprazole, lansoprazole, ozomeprazole, pantoprazole, and deglanfrosoprazole. Antacid known as aluminium, calcium, magnesium, or sodium bicarbonate. So what is nursing care for this case? So if the patient is vomiting, can give anti-emetic drug, administer IV fluid as ordered to the maintain fluid and electrical implant. When the patient can tolerate oral feeding, provide a bland diet that take into account his food preference and restart feeding slowly. Often smaller, more frequent serving to reduce the amount of irritating gastric secretion. A patient identifying specific food that cause gastric upset and eliminate them from patient diet. Administer and tacit and other prescribed medication as ordered. If pain or nausea interference in, interfere with the patient's appetite, administer pain medication or anti emetic about one hour before meal. Monitor the patient's fluid intakes and output and electrolyte level. Assess the patient for present or bowel sounds. Monitor the patient's response to antacid and other prescribed medication. Monitor the patient's complaint to treatment and eliminate of the risk factor in the, the patient's lifestyle. Teach the patient about the disorder. Urge the patient to seek immediate attention. For recurring signs and symptoms such as hematomycin, nausea, and vomiting, How to prevent gastritis? Of course, it's an agent. Stay away from food that are salty, spicy, fricy, and acidic. Reducing caffeine intake. Consume small amount of food during the day. Stress management. Avoid taking NSAID. Reducing consumption of alcohol. After a meal, do not lie down for at least Two or three hours. Prognosis. Most cases of gastritis improve quickly with treatment. For most people, medication relieve, relieve gastritis. Antacid reduce so much acid, but and the uti clear up the infection. Patient can also make change like reducing alcohol consumption and manage pain without insect. Thank you.